what is up everybody welcome back to the channel and to another video now today is kind of like a special day for me kind of i say that because i got a new carbon fiber part for my car and this is by far my favorite part that i've gotten for my car so far and i've actually wanted this part for like literally the past two to three years before i even started putting anything on the car i knew that I dead set wanted this wing for my car. So with that being said, I got this new carbon fiber wing from Fly One Motorsports. And this thing looks sick. All right guys, so the wing that I got is a Type 33 Duckbill from Fly One Motorsports. So this wing looks insane in my opinion. I already had the Rocket Bunny Duckbill and that one was pretty nice. But I like the high swoop of this wing and it just looks really, really aggressive. And paired along with the tunnel hatch, I think this is like one of the best looks that you can have for the 350Z. Now, I think this is the best wing you can get for the 350Z besides the Nismo wing. But the Nismo wing only looks good if you have the Nismo rear bumper like a Nismo 350Z so yeah other than that this is like my favorite wing and I'm just super super excited to finally have this piece for my car all right guys so I kind of went back and forth about how I wanted to install this wing and I hit up Fly One Motorsports where I got the wing from and they said that this just goes on with double-sided tape now I'm really really skeptical about that just because this is like it's almost like a thousand dollar wing. I think it was like nine fifty um shipped. So I definitely don't want to double side tape it on because I double side taped the rocket bucky the rocket bunny duck build that I had and after about a year and a half I guess the glue wore off or whatever it ended up falling off on the highway. And I definitely do not want that to happen with this wing. Now it seems the only permanent solution is to drill it in and I don't really want to do that just because it is carbon fiber, carbon fiber hatch. But after a little bit of thought, I figured I'm never going to take this wing off along with this carbon fiber hatch. I think this is like the best look together. And if I ever do change the look and want to change the hatch or whatever, I'll probably just end up selling them both together as one piece. So I will be drilling it and I'm going to use double sided tape around the edges just to have it securely on there so i got the wing just sitting on top of the hatch and from the back it fits pretty pretty well um i wasn't sure how you're supposed to mount it but it seems like you're supposed to mount it on the very edge of the hatch so i'm just gonna make sure that that's lined up so i got it lined up on the edge pretty pretty good it fits pretty decently there's like a small gap here but that should close up between having the tape and um the pressure of the screws tightening it down on the hatch but immediately I noticed that there's this huge gap right here. Like I could fit my finger in it. And this thing is really, really stiff. I don't think that'll close up. Yeah. Well, I couldn't really find any videos or anything about how this wing fit. But after my experience with Defender's install um, and the fitment was just a little kind of whack, um, it wasn't exactly perfect. Um, I seen like one video of this wing and that guy had a gap here as well. So I was expecting to have a gap there, but hopefully through having the bolts in it, it could tighten up a bit and close that gap a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna just get into it. Um, I have the wing sitting right here. And then I'm gonna just mark it with some tape to make sure that it's all evened out and in a right spot before I go ahead and start drilling or anything. All right guys, so I had the wing mocked up where it needs to go and I just outlined it with some blue painter's tape. So I know that this is where the wing is gonna line back up perfectly. Now, <clears throat> on this edge right here, it's like pretty thin and I don't want the screws to go through. So I measured about two inches to the center where it's really hollow inside. And I just marked it here. So 
so that way I could put the screws along here. So I think I'm gonna do like maybe like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. And yeah, I'm gonna just start off with the very edge ones to see how it goes and then I'll go ahead and do the middle. All right guys, so I got some of the holes drilled. Well, I got all of the holes drilled actually, but I forgot that there was so much like fiberglass material underneath. And yeah, I mean the holes are drilled here, but the hole is like an inch or so in there, two inches. So now I gotta drill this part out, but I don't have a huge drill bit. I already dropped one screw in there. You can hear it rattling around in there. But yeah, man. Um, so far, these two holes, I'm gonna start out with these and get all of that lined up. All right, guys, so all I did was I taped the wing to the trunk with a bunch of tape. And then from underneath the hatch, I just marked a hole with the, with the drill bit. And I got those holes marked out right now. And this is what I'm gonna be using. I showed you before the rib nuts and the rib nuts just go in here and then I use this rib nut tool and what it does is it like crunches it down and holds it tight in there. So I'm going to install two of these right now. So the wing is mounted. It's not completely mounted but Man, this thing looks sick. This car with this wing. Yeah, so you can still see there's a gap. I didn't really tighten the bolts too much, but yeah, this thing, it's held in with two and it's on there pretty well. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use two of those holes, two more of those holes, because some of the holes that I drilled, like this one, for example, it like ended up being on like the edge of this thing so it's like almost no way I could use that unless I come out and draw all this fiberglass. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna use these holes so that way there's um, some mounting support on the back of this. And yeah, I'm gonna use these two. And as you can see, I have a bolt right in here somewhere. Um, I'm gonna try to get that out. I don't know if I'm gonna be successful in doing it, but yeah. Alright guys, so I know I didn't show you before how I put the rib nuts in, but as you can see, the rib nut is in right here. And I just used this tool, and the way that this tool works is that when you tighten these, like this, this part right here crunches down and locks itself into here. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that in here, and then crunch it. And when you have it installed, you just unscrew it. And boom, the rib nut is in. So now I have two solid mounting holes. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing right here. And now I have a place where I could screw these screws in. This hole right here, as long as this hole right here, are both mistakes. So, I'm gonna have to plug this and this hole up. This hole is gonna move over like right here a little bit. But yeah, to do that, I'm gonna just use some butyl tape. Yeah, so it's already like 11 o'clock at night. So for the sake of my time, um, I'm just gonna be using the four mounting holes. Now, all I did was just plug it up with a little bit of butyl tape. It looks kind of ugly, but it's gonna work for now and it's gonna be covered from the wings. So it's just like a sealant tape that people use on headlights. I just used it to plug up the holes. Okay, so the wing is mounted up for tonight and man, this thing is looking sick. I really love the way that this looks.
I got the wing mounted up with just those four holes and this thing is pretty sturdy on there. Now, I wasn't able to close up any of those gaps really. You can still see a little bit of air of daylight coming through there, but nonetheless, still love the way this thing looks. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what the visibility is like because I heard people complaining that the wing was too high, but let's check. <laughs> Damn. From my point of view, all I see is straight wing. I can't see nothing. I mean, I can see above it, but if I tuck my head down like this, but yeah, from my point of view, this is what I see. That's all I see. What's up everybody? It is actually two days later now and I finally came up with like a game plan of what I'm gonna do to fully mount the wing exactly to my liking. Now, I showed it to a friend and I do only have four bolts holding it in right now, but my friend was like, yo, just keep tightening the bolts and it would force the fiberglass down to close the gaps. And I did do it, but I didn't do it too much. Um. I don't know how well you can tell, but there's actually, you can tell a lot right there. There's actually a gap right underneath. And then as you've seen before, over here, there's this huge gap I could fit my finger in it. Now, by, by tightening the bolts, <clears throat> it actually did pull it down a little bit, but I was just a little nervous because I didn't want to put all that stress on just those two bolts because the fiberglass could only be so strong. So. Um, I'm actually going to put a bunch more bolts like I said I was and um, yeah just tighten it down and it should close up that gap. Alright guys so I marked off the edge of where the wing is. I just marked off two more holes that I want to drill so that way the screws could tighten down the wing in the middle. And then I'm also going to add a hole here because this hole was a mistake. So I'm going to just move this hole a little bit over here. But yeah. We're actually going to end up using all the holes except for two, which I made by mistake. So it's not too bad, but yeah, I went ahead and put all the rivet nuts in and this is going to help me secure this really well to the trunk. And I also put some weather stripping around the edges just to try to keep as much water out as we can. So. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is put on all these bolts and like I said I'm going to put the silicone around the head so that way I could get a good seal. And yeah the wing should be mounted pretty much exactly how I want it to be. Should have no gaps. And let's cross our fingers hope everything works out. I got the spoiler mounted up and unfortunately I wasn't able to get the results that I wanted but the, the final result does look better than what I had it as before. So, I put the black silicone all around here, and that actually worked out pretty, pretty nicely. So, you can barely even see. Let me see. Yeah, you can see the black silicone in there a bit. But, that black silicone in the back cleared up those little micro gaps that I had. So, I'm loving the way that the back of the spoiler came out. But for the front, where they had that big, really huge gap... I wasn't able to tighten it down as much as I think I, I thought I was going to be able to. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the black silicone definitely helped close up the gap, but the black silicone is pretty visible. So, as you can see, yeah, you can still see the black silicone. So my goal originally was to tighten it down as much as I can, so that way the black silicone is very, very thin in the front. But I wasn't able to tie in it as much as I wanted to. And you can still see the black silicone a lot. I mean, I keep saying silicone. The black weather stripping a lot. But it definitely looks a lot better than just having a big old gap. And you can see like light coming through it. So I'm not too mad about it. But nonetheless, the car is a little dirty right now. But yeah, man, the wing is looking great. Um, you can see the black silicone just because it's not glossy. But, yeah, like I said, it's a lot better than having that air gap. Yeah, guys, so I'm pretty tired. I had a long day, but I just knew that I wanted to get this wing on. It's actually been sitting in my house for, like, three weeks now. So, thank you guys for tuning in.
And remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.